Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about LiveWire property binding. So let's see how can we bind the property in LiveWire. So first of all, let's create a new LiveWire component. So switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the component, just type here the command php artisan make colon LiveWire space component name. Uh, let's say component name is form. Alright, now press enter. Now run the application. So just type here php artisan serve. Now search for the project and uh, just open the form component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, liveware, and uh, from here just open form.blade.php file. Alright, inside this file. Uh, let's create input text field okay so just write here input type is equal to text all right input and just close this and also add here a text name and beer tag all right Now let's create the route for this uh, component. So just go inside the web.php file and uh, just click on routes web.php and here just add the route. So just write your route get and uh, URI. Let's say URI is form and then just add here the complete class name which is form. All right. And also add here the class. Uh, complete class path all right so just write here like this and now just add here column column class all right now save this file now let's check this url so go to the browser and just type here uh, slash form and uh, you can see the input text file all right now uh, just go inside the form component class file just go inside the app http livewire and just open form.php file all right and inside this file let's create a property so just write here public and uh, property name or let's say property name is name all right now let's bind this property uh, with this input text field so for binding just write here wire colon and uh, just write here model is equal to uh, this property name right name so just write here name all right now just display here uh, inside this div this property uh, this property value so for that just write here uh, first of all just add here the hr tag and uh, a text name is equal to and uh, for printing that uh, property value just add here double curly bracket and uh, this property name okay dollar name so just write here dollar name now save this file and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page And now uh, just enter any name here. So I'm just going to type here like this. It's Smith is on. And here you can see the value. Okay. If I change the text here, let's say Jennifer. You can see here the real time text. All right. Now let's see how can we bind a uh, property. Uh, with text area radio button checkbox and select okay so for that uh, let's create this uh, this control so just go inside the form component field and here uh, let's create text area so just write here uh, text message and add here the br tag and now just write here text area and uh, text area and just close this all right 
now add here the radio button so for that just write here it will add the br tag and let's say caption or label is marital status all right and now uh, just add here the option single and create the radio button so just write here input type is equal to radio and uh, value is equal to single all right now just copy this and paste here and change here the text married all right and value married now let's create the uh, checkbox so for that just add here the text it's the favorite colors all right and add here the PR tag all right now let's create a checkbox so just write here red color and input type is equal to checkbox and value red now just copy this and paste two time and change the color here green and also change the value and here blue all right And here the beard tag, rich line. And now just add here the select. Okay. Uh, for that, just add here uh, a text favorite fruit. So favorite fruits. And here let's create a select so just write here select and uh, inside this select uh, add here some option option and value uh, first value blank and just add here a text select root all right and now create another option option value is equal to let's say apple and also add here a text apple now copy this and uh, paste here okay now change the fruit name in mango and also change here a text mango all right now add here the banana all right Okay, now let's uh, create the property. So just go inside the form component class file and here create some property. So just write here public and for text area, I'm just going to use your message. So dollar message and red uh, for just radio button, just write here dollar for uh, marital status. Okay, so just write here dollar married underscore status and uh, for the tick box just add here colors public dollar color and for the select just add here the fruit. Okay, so just write here public dollar fruit. Uh, for colors because checkbox is multiple selection so just add here the array so just write your colors and equal to array all right array variable array property now save this file and uh, let's 
uh, bind this property with uh, form control so first add with text area so just write here while model and add here the property name which is message okay so just write here copy and paste here all right now let's bind this uh, radio button so for that just copy this variable my retail status and inside this just write here where colon model is equal to and just paste here this all right now copy this and just fix it, uh, paste inside uh, second radio button all right and inside the favorite color uh, inside this checkbox uh, just add here this array colors so just write here where colon model is equal to colors all right now just copy this and paste inside this and this checkbox all right now let's bind this select so for that just write here where colon model is equal to uh, this property name fruit all right so just copy and paste here now let's uh, display this property value here so just write here at the vr tag and now uh, print the message from the text area all right so just write here message is equal to the bracket and inside this just add here the property name which is message all right so just write here message now add the br tag and another one marital status all right and inside this just add here the variable this marital status add here the br tag and uh, for the checkbox so just write here favorite colors and uh, uh, for multiple multiple option just add here uh, for each just write here for each and dollar colors as dollar color and first of all add here you will tag and inside this you will tag just add here for each and uh, inside this for each just add here li tag right and now just print here the color value so just write here dollar color all right now add here the br tag and in last just print the select value okay so just copy this and paste here and just print the value of the select so just write here dollar root all right now save this file now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and here you can see the form control text field text area radio button checkbox and select okay now just add here any name uh, let's say Peter. and here you can see the name in real time all right now add here the message uh, let's say text message and here you can see the text message all right now change the uh, select the uh, check the uh, this radio button so i'm just going to select this one single and here you can see the marital status single all right if i check this married you can see here the married all right and inside this checkbox just to select the uh, red color and here you can see the red color if i select green you can see here the green blue blue all right and if i did select this you can see here the green and blue and inside this select just to select the any fruit I'm just going to select this one and here you can see the selected root mango all right 
this property binding one drawback is it, uh, consume is it uh, it is consume more resources okay so let's see how it consume more resources so for that just uh, right click on browser and uh, just select inspect element and just uh, click on network tab all right and uh, now let's add uh, any name inside this input text field so i'm just going to write here any text field like uh, smith smith john and here you can see uh, for every character it's sending the request to the server okay which is not good so for preventing this uh, each character request we can use the bounce modifier all right so for using this uh, modifier the bounce modifier just go inside the component uh, view file and i'm just going to add here the bounce uh, modifier with uh, this input text field so for that just write here model dot debounce and uh, just add here debounce and dot and here just add the delay time in millisecond okay so i'm just going to uh, delay for one second so for that just add here 1000 uh, ms millisecond okay because 1000 millisecond is equal to one second okay if you want to delay two seconds so just add here 2000 millisecond all right now save this file and uh, let's check so just go to the browser and just refresh the page and now inside this input text field just add here a text uh, first clear this network tab and now just enter here uh, can see here after one second it requests all right not for every character if i just enter any character you can see here it's not requesting after one second it requesting all right so in this way you can bind property in live wire so that's all about live wire property binding so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching